talk about the user interface and navigating through ZBrush Core. Uh, so the first thing we're going to talk about is basically the main menu at the top here. Um, what you'll see is uh, a lot of items. Uh, don't get overwhelmed yet. Uh, everything is uh, pretty straightforward once you learn it, but we'll break it down into smaller sections here. So, um, like I said, the very first top, the very top piece here is uh, basically the main menu, and we call those palettes. Um, so when you're talking the lingo in ZBrush, um, you know that these are palettes here that can be docked or can be moved. But really, this is your main menu where all the um, tools uh, reside here. So um, the right side here is basically called the right side tray. Um, and this is where you can dock those palettes. So in here, we have the tool palette. So if you come over here, you actually see it move from there. And so what we can do is basically drag that back over there. And since it already resides there, it populates that field there. If you want, you can expand and hide these, these trays as well too. So see the double arrows here, just click on those. And it'll hide and show that tool palette. Same thing on the left side, you can click the same thing. This is your left side tray. And this is where you can add other elements as well. Um, so for example, let's take uh, this menu item here, this palette. And let's add it to our left side menu by clicking this little icon here. And we can do the complete reverse thing by clicking that icon again and hiding it. And it goes back to the main menu here. So these are just ways you can kind of customize your user, user interface and your experience. And it helps your workflow so you can actually get to your tools quicker. And that's a great thing. Now let's talk about sub palettes and UI elements. Basically sub palettes are kind of subsections for more tools. So if you have your tool palette open on the right hand side here, you can see that there are other uh, basically menu items here, say sub tool, uh, your geometry, uh, preview and, and so on. So all these items have basically more tools embedded under the main tool palette here that we're looking at. So we can click on them and expand them and see what all options we have there. And if you want, you can hold shift down and you can click on multiple ones and they'll, they'll all stay open. Otherwise, it, um, if you just click on one, it'll close the other one that you had open. So a uh, nice little tip and trick there. So now let's talk about main elements of the user interface. Um, it really consists of three main elements. We have switches buttons and sliders. Um, these are just different ways of displaying information on uh, the elements within uh, the user interface and within the navigation. So let's first talk about buttons. Um, basically these are like clickable buttons. They do exactly what they say. They perform an immediate action on your model. Um, so if we take a look at the light box button here, we can click on that and the light box pops up. We can click on the BPR button up on the top right here and we get a re immediate render uh, of our object there. So they just perform immediate actions. Switches, however, uh, basically enable or disable a feature on, on the button. So um, let's, uh, for example, let's take a look at the uh, polyframe button here. Um, we can click on this and it's basically enabling or disabling um, our wireframes there. So we can actually see that on the model here. So if we click it on, click it off, um, we've got a good view of how many wireframes and how many polyframes are on our model. We can see that there. So that's basically the idea of switches. Um, and then we'll also move on to sliders. And um, basically these kind of fine tune our tools. Um, or they might fine tune a process as well too. So depending on what we're doing. But Let's take a look at um, our draw size here on the brush. Uh, we can click on that and take a look at our different focal points or focal shift and then our actual draw size. Um, these actually are sliders that change our, our brush's size and the actual uh, feature within that brush too. So we can take a look at that. Um, those are really helpful sliders there. So just to recap, uh, basically what we went over in this lesson was uh, 
the main menu items. So we learned what palettes were, uh, sub palettes, and some of the main elements of the UI. Uh, in the next lesson, uh, we'll probably go over some of the ideas of what the canvas is, and then a little bit more uh, in depth about navigation. And this will really get you uh, started drawing some features and uh, getting the idea of how to sculpt in ZBrush Core.